Hello y'all, today we're looking at the Council Tools Boys Axe. This axe is the lower end for the Council Tool. They have two lines. They have the higher premium velvet cut axes that are more competition for like the Wetterlings and Swedish hand forged axes. They're not hand forged, but the grains lined up in the metal and some people say they're even better. I find them hard to believe, but I've never tried one, but they're more the hand forged style. These axes this is just the low end, around forty dollars. It's more competition for an axe you'd buy at your hardware store. Um, much better than the cheap Chinese axis. It's going to come not as sharp as the velvet cut, more expensive line, or the Wetterlings, which you could shave with. They're so sharp; they're like razors. This is a little dollar. You may want to shop in it when you get it. Um, this axe, overall, I was very impressed. I like the long handle. This is. 28 inch handle, you can get this in 24 too. Um, on my axes I like long handles. That could just be because I'm tall so it's more comfortable for me, especially if I'm going to be chopping down any trees. I like a longer handle. Um, if you're shorter, I don't know, shorter handle might be okay for you. Um, the hatchets, of course, I don't want a long handle on that because you do different stuff with it. Um, the eye is has an aluminum wedge which is supposed to help keep the wood from shrinking so if it gets in really dry weather or next to a stove in your house it won't fall out as easy so they're proud of that the handle is US Hickory which is very good and I'm trying to think so we'll try this out this is marketed for it's a little it's a very small um, felling axe, this would be a real felling axe, but this is mainly just good for chopping down trees. The Prandy German style axe, this is a great axe for felling. We should be doing a video on it in the f near future. Um, but the big difference, this is a small felling, but it's large camp axe. It's larger than a lot of the camp axes you would buy. Um, they market it for splitting and small felling, but this axe would be great for splitting if you're taking it out on your back, if you're backpacking it in. But it's, if you're just getting an axe for splitting, do not buy this axe. Um, like I said, it's a little cheaper model, so it's not going to be to the standards. But if you're going to go and buy a cheap Chinese one at a hardware store, I'd definitely go with this. Um, okay, so we'll try this tree. So this axe, I don't think I mentioned, it comes without any lacquer or finish on the handle, which is very good. That'll just give you blisters. You may want to oil it with some boiled linseed when you're done, I mean when you get your axe. Um, it's also made in the USA. I'm very proud of that. It's Cancel Tool's been going for a long time. Um, this is a great camp axe. If you want to get some firewood. The head's about two and a quarter pounds, so it's a little heavy to carry on your back, but it's great for backpacking, sticking in the basement of your motorhome. Great camp axe. Not quite so big where it's unmanageable, but it's bigger than most of the camp axes on the market. Um, 
So, let's see how it splits. So we'll look at that and you can limb your trees, build a little shelter with it, collect firewood, just an all around good utility knife, backup knife stick in your garage if you want a good knife that's a good size that you can use it for anything instead of like a felling axe that's pretty much just good for felling trees, maybe splitting, but. Okay, Council Tools also says you can use this as a splitting axe. Obviously, I would say they mean for around the campsite if you want to split wood for a fire, not if you want to just go out and split a whole brick of wood for your winter, but just carry on your back, chop up your firewood, split it um, in your motorhome if you at your campsite you want to split firewood a little or half a rig or something but obviously if you want to split a lot of wood you're going to want to get a splitting mole or a splitting axe um, the blade's a little bit thin for splitting you want to always if you have a good splitting axe you should be able to just go with one hand if you get it stuck in and you don't split it the first try um, okay let's see how this does so this is a little bit of a little log this would probably not do as good with a big log but it's it's pretty sufficient and I love the overall weight of the head and the handle on this. This is made in the USA. Um, I love how long the handle is. Um, overall though, I'm not, this is not to the par with the Wider Lanes, Paltz Brook, Council Troll Velvet Cut Axis. I would recommend this if you don't want to spend very much money on an axe and you're going to go to a hardware store and just buy a Chinese one. But if you want an axe that's razor shop out of the box, you need to go with one of the expensive. Okay, click here if you want to subscribe and see other great videos for the outdoors and on more access. Um, thanks for watching. Over here, click if you would like to see a video on the Holtzbrook Hand Forged Axe. It's the longest continuous hand forged axe company in the world. They've been making them in Sweden for a long time. They got it down just right. Great access. Um, see you soon.